um, <laughs> what what kind of made you want to um, do so much all at once and, and be able to give back in such a big way? Uh, I think doing summer was the best opportunity to give back to the community. That was just a, a lot of fun, like playing milk out with the kids. The kids were amazing, so that was just that was just good. There's a lot of 20 year olds that would not be thinking about anything else besides just you know their summers. What what is it about you that wants to to give back at such a young age? I think uh, I get a lot of things because of my work, like basketball. So I just think that was the best way to give back. And when I was young, I would have to have the same thing. So I was just thinking about that and like wanting to give back to the community. I know you're still kind of getting used to the United States and um, living in, I think, your third country in three years. Um, what's this been like to actually have a, a full summer here so far and, and to get um, kind of acclimated to Oklahoma? Oh, it's been good. Uh, I've been in the gym every, every day, but like, yeah, just being here like the whole summer was really good for me. Just came back in France to see my family a little bit, but I was here the rest of the time, so that was that was really good. What have you been doing outside of the gym here in Oklahoma? Uh, just exploring a couple of restaurants, and yeah, that's it. Any that's favorite it. any favorite spots so far? Uh, probably the mahogany. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I see you. And yeah. Uh, you, you talk about uh, just being able to play knockout with the kids. Now, is that a game you've played before growing up? Because I didn't know anything about it. You just looked kind of crazy out there to me. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been playing that in France. We just don't call it the same name, but I've been I've been playing that game. We what call it like Lucky Lick, Lucky Lick. Okay. I don't know why, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as wanting to get back to the community, why do you think that's so important to you? Uh, like I said, that's so important to me because like. When I was young, I, I would like to have the same chance to, like, see prof professional basketball, like, just see them and, like, even, like, give them shoes and everything. So that was really important for me. What type of impact do you think you can just have on their life, whether it's, you know, this few minutes that you're able to spend with them? How do you, what do you want them to take out of it? Uh, that, like, they can keep working and, like, I don't know, some, some of the kids, like, playing basketball. So just tell them to keep working and, like, keep keep following their dreams and everything, yeah. Is this something that you can, you see yourself continuing to do, be part of this community and, and just do a, a variety of different things? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I said, I, I love to give back to the community, so whenever I can and where I can, I, I will try to, to do it. Mm -hmm. it's as far as going into your second season, just what type, what part of the game do you think you've improved upon the most or do you want to improve upon the most? Uh, yeah, I'm working every day uh, on all, like, all aspects of my game because like nobody is perfect and yeah especially like physically trying to gain muscles and yeah just work every day and we'll see all right anybody else was there any sort of community event or meeting someone whenever you were younger that kind of inspired you to want to do this uh there was some some community even like nicola Batum or like tony parker but like i'm not living next to their city so i wasn't able to go so yeah, but that, that inspired me for sure. That's great. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Juice. And looky look.